Hey guys, it's Nathan. I just finished my sketchbook for, for April to June, so I'd like to show it to you. So this is a Plum Chester sketchbook. I got it from... I'll just, I'll just put the name on screen. I've completely blanked. It's, it's alright. It's, uh, it's got 48 pages, 160 GSM paper, and it's 8.2 inches by 8.2, so it's a nice square. Um, oh yeah, the stickers on the front these two are mine and then this one I will link in the description and same with this one so this is my third sketchbook of 2020 this was just a sticky note from when I was streaming um, these were my goals for the sketchbook I what does that mean I used up a lot of pens uh, for the most part I did do a lot of double page spreads I didn't use pencil crayon as much as I'd like and finish before the end of July. It's still June, so I did that one. This is a character I still don't have a name for. Um, it's snowing in April. It was actually snowing way too late. The boys. The other boy. Just a random elf man. A uh, random pointy-eared man. It's not a sketchbook without a crisp page. These were Vinny designs. I'm probably gonna change it. I don't care for it as much anymore, but I had to get the idea out of my system. Uh, mouth page. I don't. I'm not good at drawing mouths. Sushi. A random dude. This was an Elias design. I showed this in another video. I was trying to figure out his hair. Uh, Sephiroth from on stream. Merman. I don't care for that page. This one's okay. I, don't, I hate his eyes there, so I didn't care. Um, my Copics had been sitting for so long that they were starting to do that thing where they... Uh, they crystallize on the nib and I had to keep putting ink in it and scribbling it just to make it work again. Some Lux and Chris. Tavern stuff. I still like that idea. So a, a friend pointed out this is a tavern and then they got stairs so you just like, you walk out and you go, bye guys, I'm heading home, and then thunk down the stairs. This was a uh, blue ink done with a, um, sketching with a brush. I like sketching with an actual brush, it's really fun. Not sketching with brush pen, sketching with an actual brush. Some merman. Um, I was making socks. I've made some socks, and uh, I just took some pictures of my hands and then tried to draw them. Merman. Um, I got this black paper in an art box and I wanted to use it so I did a couple things and I do another one later on so this is about the only other time I used a pencil crayon in this sketchbook. I like the paper for uh, markers and pens and stuff. Some random design dudes. The OG boys. Kudo. Um, I drew these upside down, so I drew them facing this way. So they kind of look alright, but then when I flip them over, like, this looks so awkward now. <laughs> Let's see. There's some purple boys. Some sketches. Some more. I think this was with the uh, Stidler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Some uh, Luxes. Uh, I think this page just looks cool. Especially these with the yellow. This was not a good page, but I was screwing around with some watermarkers. Zandro. Oh, look, it's him again. It's the AS and Booty page. Um, I think the gesture in the sketch looks better than the final, but I think the final looks alright. I wanted to use the black paper again, and then 
This one was just trying to do like a basic sketch idea. Or this is Lux, so some Lux again. And uh, I was using that tiny fine liner pen to fill in the background and I, I really shouldn't do that. It takes forever. Some random stuff. A random vampire man. This is the only good sketch on this page. That's yeah, not even good. The boys. And it's my last page. I got a sword and I bought way too many sock yarn. I bought like 16 of them. So I got a lot of socks to make. And then, so this is swatch page number one. And then this is my original swatch page. And these are all the pens that I used in this uh, sketchbook that are now dead. So I was trying to use up ones that I didn't use too much and ones that I kind of just wanted to get rid of. But yeah, so that's that's it for the sketchbook. Um, I actually really liked how the sketchbook turned out. I think doing the, uh, the two pages each time really, it makes it feel more cohesive and I feel like I had a bit more space to play with stuff since every time I did something that day I could do both. It wouldn't be like, okay, well all I have is this page and then it, I just like, I hate this page so much. Um, I just think it was, uh, a lot of fun to, to do the large spreads. I have a watercolor sketchbook I just started that, it's the, it's the really big one. Actually, I'll just show it. Okay, so it's the really big one. It's like an 8 by 11 and, oh, um, I like doing the double pages. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I can do here, and it gives me lots of space, right? So, I don't think I could work in the really small sketchbooks again, just because I really enjoy the amount of space that I have. I, I realize I'm on the ass page. I just, I like being able to complete my ideas on the same page, because the second I flip the page, I end up in a different headspace, so. But yeah, I, I don't think I've ever used a uh, square sketchbook that wasn't like this big before, so this was very fun. I don't have my next sketchbook yet. I'm working in the watercolor one right now, but I'm just using a layover sketchbook until I get my new ones. But until then, I'm just gonna... I've been enjoying doing the watercolor book, so I'll just keep doing that. I do actually want to record uh, a tour of my watercolor sketchbook, so I, that might be my next video. So. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I hope you enjoyed going through my sketchbook with me. I hope you stick around to see the next sketchbook. And stay safe and bye-bye.